All right, this lesson is parallel lines and transversals. And it's actually very similar to the lesson we did uh, recently on triangles, where we were talking about the line that goes across a triangle. Um, if you recall real quick, we'll do a real quick sort of reminder here. If we have a triangle and we draw a line from one portion of one side of the triangle to the other side of the triangle, and if that line is parallel to the third side, so in other words, if this line right here is parallel to this line right here, then these segments from here to here and from here to here are in proportion to their corresponding segments on the other side. That trick works with any set of parallel lines and any set of transversals, which is pretty slick. So for instance, here in this, uh, this diagram that we got from the chapter, we have three lines. We have L, which is parallel to M, which is parallel to N, and then we have S and T, which are just two different transversals, two different lines that cross over them. But because the lines are parallel, L, M, and N are parallel, where S and T cross those lines ends up being, um, ends up being proportional. So A is proportional to C in the same way that B is proportional to D, or you can say that C is proportional to D in the way that A is proportional to B. And it works for any number of lines. If, if we even put in another line crossed here, as long as it was still parallel to these others, mark it as parallel there, then we could put in another letter, call this E and this F, and then these two segments here, E and F, would also be proportional in the same way. A would be proportional to F, for instance, in the same way that C was proportional to E. So really we can calculate a lot of quick information um, just by knowing this little, this little trick and identifying whether or not these lines are parallel. And of course it works the other way. If we can show that sets of segments are proportional to each other, then we've proven that the lines in between them, or the lines creating them, must be parallel because those segments would only be proportional if they were. Alright, let's take a look at the examples.